just feel good to live your life. I'm very big on people who came before me, mm -hmm. um, giving them that respect. One of the things that scared the hell out of me, once I found out that this character was based on uh -huh. a real living person, right. and she is really <laughs> coming to this play sure. to see it, yes. um, I, pardon my French, uh -huh. was like shit in my pants. Yeah. I was like, you know, did I, did they pick the right girl? Do you feel like they, you know, mm -hmm. did you feel like I portrayed you or her well? And, mm -hmm. you know, I was, I feel like I was like a, 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 a puppy, like mm -hmm. jumping up in her lap, yeah. peeing on her. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> I was like, did you like it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you love it? Did you love it? No, yes, no, maybe so, no, yeah. kind of. And she was like, you did well, baby. She was like, you did. Baby, you, <laughs> you did, you did, you did well, baby. <laughs> Growing up, I was definitely with the, with the, you know, the the smart kids, geeks, you know. But I was a music geek from a pretty young age because my mom taught piano. So <laughs> piano kind of became my life um, in junior high and high school. M music and piano. I thought that was going to be my whole life. Wow. I really did. Yeah. Yeah, and in some ways it has, it's remained. I've taught um, piano all of my life, actually, part-time. I have six piano students right now, and I hold little recitals for them twice a year. So I always make a point to play a piece at the end of my recitals for them. And then actually I'm doing a volunteer thing, which you could call performing, I suppose, um, and I just did it this morning. Every Friday morning I go down to uh, Whittier, elementary, international elementary school, and they have a beautiful grand piano in a big atrium space, and as kids come in in the morning and as they leave in the afternoon, different volunteers sit and play piano for a half hour. It's fun, and they do love to talk to me, and of course they want to play, and that's, but, um, but I really enjoy that. You were honored in 2014. Yes. For the Trans 100. Yes. Legacy Award. Yes. So they named a 100 people. Yes, they did. But they gave you the Legacy Award. They sure did. And I didn't know anything about it. Uh -huh. When it was brought to my attention, I had just got out of the hospital. Oh, no. Yeah, uh -huh. you know, because I suffered with diabetes. Okay. And I just got out of the hospital and I wasn't feeling good. Mm -hmm. And Precious Davis called me up mm -hmm. and she said, Mama Glor, we having an affair uh -huh. at the uh, main right. theater. Right. And yeah. she said, I hope you can be there. And by it being Precious, yeah. I said, baby, I'll be there for you. Right. And um, I wasn't feeling all that great. And I yeah. got up, <laughs> I got there right. and I couldn't. I'm looking at all these people uh -huh. and the place, the venue was beautiful. beautiful yeah. And I'm looking all around wondering what is going on here. Uh -huh. And they were just leading me to seats and taking me upstairs <laughs> to the makeup green room oh, and everything. Wow. Uh -huh. And so I said, I don't know what in the hell is going on here. <laughs> right. And then finally I saw the little... Um, brochures and plaques on uh -huh. the table and my picture was on there right. <laughs> and they said the living legend of war i was floored oh my goodness i was so floored i i cried uh -huh. and i was so with precious davis and uh my other baby janet mock was janet there mock which well. i love her I love to know her. in yeah. And Laverne Cox was there, Laverne was there, Laverne was there oh, and goodness. Angela Roth. So yeah, I was God, surrounded yeah. by all these beautiful flowers. Right. And I'm saying, oh my God, here <laughs> I am with all my children. Right. I feel like Phoebe Tyler. Right. Phoebe Tyler. <laughs> yeah. I go to South Africa a lot. My uh -huh. best friend lives there. Is that right? Yeah, I, I think when I retire. Johannesburg? Jo he lives in Johannesburg. Okay. Well, outside, he lives in Ramburg, which okay. is a suburb of Johannesburg. Okay, okay. Yeah, Randburg. Uh -huh. I've been to Cape Town, but I want to, once I retire, I want to have dual citizenship. Really? Uh, it's South Africa and United States. Mm -hmm. I can, as a, as a, um, as a, um, a non-resident of South Africa, get residency <laughs> based on if I have a certain amount of money as a retirement. I can get a retirement visa, they call it, if I'm getting a certain amount of money in my pension, sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Okay. I can get a retirement. I can have dual citizenship, go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was. And that's your plan. Yeah. I'm gonna have dual citizenship. I'm gonna stay there uh -huh. sometimes when it's warm, and then come back here for a while. Yeah. It's beautiful. There. I love it. The women are nice. Nice really? time. Yeah. I heard a lot of black people say when they go to Africa, they sort of feel like they're going home. Yeah. Do you have that experience? Or yeah. Have you when I first went, I have uh -huh. traveled with a group. That's how I. Um, okay. Became familiar. Yeah, and when we, the guy, we had a, a guy pick us up from the airport, an African guy. Right. He was like a guide or whatever, and he mm -hmm. was like, welcome home. When wow. we got off the plane. And you see, and you should have seen, when we came off the plane, the people who worked at the airport just stopped and looked, stopped what they was doing. Uh -huh. And looked at us American black people really? coming off. I guess because, you know, the way I dress, they probably uh -huh. was like... <laughs> We were like, wow, like they just stopped what they were doing. And I was just like, we was just like looking at each other like, and it's wow. like, I could have cried. Like, really? Was like, Soon after I came out, I kind of expressed interest in being able to take care of transgender patients in my own primary care clinic. Um, and people were supportive of it and wanted to help me do that. Um, and I kind of did what I could to prepare myself to be able to manage hormones and sexual health care mm -hmm. um, through my primary care clinic just as a kind of a side project um, and it was so clear bef even before that that there was such a huge need for people who are knowledgeable in taking care of transgender patients mm -hmm. um, that I could do more so uh, I started talking to people about what it would take to create a clinic and um, the administration was very supportive. Mm -hmm. And uh, in June of 2016, we started the Adult Gender and Sexual Health Clinic. I grew up in Tanzania, East Africa, and I'm South Asian <laughs> descent. Um, and so one of my most beautiful memories is uh, swimming in the ocean mm -hmm. early, early in the morning. And it was when the tide was coming in mm -hmm. and uh, the ocean was relatively calm so there were no big waves. Mm -hmm. It was just, it was just, and, and you could see the bottom of the ocean and was wow. the Indian Ocean because I grew up on the coast um, of Dar es Salaam. And uh, so that was, that's been my um, sort of, maybe I could say, a grounding memory. Sort of this place of complete freedom. Like, I, when I go to the ocean, I spend most of my time in the water. In the water. <laughs> yes. So you're not a beach, you don't lay on the beach. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I really you're do. In the water. I am in the water. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Have you ever been back to the Indian Ocean? Yes, actually three, was it? Yeah, three, about three years ago. Is that right? Yeah, okay. yeah, so I came um, sort of after um, around 22 years of being in the U.S., mm -hmm. I went back and it was uh, both uh, a, a phenomenal trip in, in a lot of ways. Mm. Um, yeah, and it was really kind of sort of a homecoming for me after being gone. My debut singing for Barack Obama wasn't at the White House. Okay. It actually was at the Sheraton in New York City at a big um, LGBT fundraiser sort of um, event, but it wasn't at the White House. Wow. But I did sing at the Department of Veteran Affairs. Okay. So people, when they see all my pictures, they just put two and two together. They see the American flag, and they're like, oh, it must have been at the White House. No. <laughs> well, I'm glad you cleared that up. Oh, no, no. I always try to. I always try to keep it real, you yeah. know, <laughs> to the best of my ability. Did yeah. you meet Barack? Of course, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, they give you time afterwards, and I have my photo with him, um, and they give you time to come and speak with him. And it was just another very emotional time to say, I'm living in my truth. And all of these people told me that I could not be successful living in my truth. Look at this. Mm. You know. Uh, yeah. <laughs>